Okay, I know a lot of people are going to come at this episode and say the pacing was bad, which I know the pacing technically is very slow in this chapter, and not a lot happened, but holy fucking hell, the freaking reveal at the end, just finding out about more of Dolphy's past, just hinted at it, I was like, are you one of the dragons, I was like, holy shit, this was a good chapter, I love it, I love the just... The, oh my god, the fucking music. The original soundtrack that played. When you just see the up-close and personal shot of Dolphy in this chapter. He's smiling to himself. You hear that theme song just rising higher. I was like... I, I was just at the edge of my seat. I was like, oh my god, we're getting into the epicness of One Piece. The epicness of Dress Rose arc. This is about to hit the pinnacle of fucking badassery. This is going to be so fucking awesome. I just... Oh my god. Okay, so really, this episode... If we look at it as a standpoint as a critic wise, I guess this episode didn't really progress. I mean, it took forever the entire episode for Fujitora and Doffy to get to Law's location. That really is what this majority of this episode was about. And if we look at it, we had a little bit of reveal CP0 told the entire island of Drez Rose that not to be alarmed, don't worry. Pretty much their king, Doffy, did not quit his position of warlord and just do not tell no one. And there will be a second newspaper reporting at 3 o'clock to let the entire world know. So what we find out from this episode, even though technically the pacing was very slow, it was a standard and badass chapter of One Piece, because there was a lot of reveals in this one freaking episode. For one thing, we find out that Dolphy is able to manipulate the world government, not the Navy, the world government, and he has CP0 working for him to relay the news to different islands. That is fucking insane. Okay, so we saw another CP in this lobby, but CP0 is listening to the world government, and Dolphy messed with the world government. Somehow they managed to lie to the entire world. Holy fuck. Holy son of a gun. Dolphy is scary. So far, from what I've seen of Dolphy, he's had the most build-up as a villain, for a, like a villain of an arc for a very long time since Skypea arc, and this... I'm looking forward to Dolphy. I mean, Dolphy is just such an amazing character, what we've seen so far. I love it. I love his character. So fucking badass. This was amazing. I love it. I love the little segment. Even though some of it was filler, I love that segment getting to see Luffy fighting the, just the people in his uh, Gladiator Coliseum tournament. Just beat the shit out of them. And now, a little bit of that scenes were not filler. It wasn't, but some of it were they tried to extend it a little bit, the life of this episode, which I'm fine with that. No, next week, technically, One Piece is going to be on break, so I'm guessing they're just trying to add a little bit of filler here and there to be able to let the manga get a further distance. You know, even though... Even though One Piece has had, you know, a slow pacing for a long time, I do complain about it on occasion, and really, I know why they do it. They don't want to go into filler arcs that just completely devolve from the story and have bad things happen to it. I still like the pacing of One Piece in general, because One Piece, even though it has bad pacing, the badassness of it, of when something finally hits the fan and shit goes down, it is amazing. It is downright fucking amazing. And I feel like this is what makes this episode so enjoyable. To the fucking soundtrack that really backs up almost every freaking scene in this episode. To the freaking just up-close shading personal shots of Dolphy and Law just about to go head-to-head. Fujitora walking up about to fight whatever, whoever's in his path. Being pissed about being lied to about, you know, Dolphy quitting the Warlords all around amazing. That That is my rating. People will probably disagree with me and say that this episode was bad, but I love it. In my opinion, I love this episode. Tell me your thoughts on this episode of One Piece. Did you feel like that freaking ending, the, the, the fucking just hints of whatever Dolphy's past is, is so fucking strong that you're like, oh my god, give me the next episode. Sadly enough, next week's episode is going to be put on hold and there's no episode next week. Ah! So everybody, I love you so much. Please be safe. She be out.